Hey guys, I just uh, got done watching a uh, minimalism uh, video, a frugal video, okay, like frugalism, minimalism, like being frugal, not spend a lot of money, and I get that, okay, I'm frugal too, I get, I get that, but the one tip, suggestion they had, and this is, is that, it's kind of bugging me, but, um, is that they said, don't wash your clothes so much, okay, don't wash your clothes so much, so, why does that bug me? Because here's what it is. I when you go out in public, okay, you're signing a social contract, okay? That social contract says that like, you know, you're clean, presentable, your clothes are clean, okay? Like, okay, I get it. All right, you wear your jeans once, you don't really like roll around the mud. You didn't like go jogging in them and, and okay, you can take them off, you can hang them up, air them out maybe, okay, and then like do it again maybe once, all right, I get that. But like they're talking about like 30, 20, 30 times not washing your jeans. I, okay, unless you live in like, I don't know, somewhere where it's 70 degrees all the time and you don't exert yourself and you never come into contact with uh, dust and you know, and, and dirt, and uh, I mean, like, there's just, no, there's no place like this on earth, okay, so wash your clothes, all right, and, and while you're at it, wash yourselves, okay, like, here, like, okay, here's Mr. Stormtrooper, okay, and he's out, you know, at the mall, and he's got his little, well, look, he's got his little purse there, his little Stormtrooper purse, and then, like, here comes Mr. Duck, okay, and they're waiting in line at Target, okay, this is not the scale, obviously, because the duck's, you know, pretty big, but you know, and he's just waiting there minding his own business. He's got his package. He's ready to check out. And this, this duck, like, rolls up on him. And this duck has bathed in, like, because oh, that's a bad example. It's a duck because it would probably be in water. But you know what I'm saying, okay? It hasn't, like, used soap and water and deodorant in ages. And uh, it's just like, whoo, man. What, what are you, what? Really? The fun, like, what the funk, man? Like, that's crazy. Like, why so much funk? So, you know, here's what I'm saying. Okay, all right, I get it. There's, you know, like use soap, water, uh, deodorant. Okay, like yeah. All right, saving money is awesome. I love saving money. Investing that savings, awesome. It's all I'm all about it. Okay. However, there is a price to pay. There is a ticket that you have to you have to buy your ticket to ride. And riding in the social you know, environment, you know, there's a price, all right? So, like, I get it, okay? Let's say, like, there are exceptions, all right? There are some exceptions. Let's say that, like, Joe Stormtrooper, like, rolls out of the gym, and he's like, you know what? I don't really want to shower at this gym because, man, it, you know, like, I don't want to get, like, you know, some kind of like foot and mouth disease or athlete's foot or something in the shower. I get that. I want to go home and shower. Okay, so he goes home. All right, so he just got this great workout and he's all sweaty and everything underneath his armor. And he doesn't have time to change. He doesn't have a change of armor. That's fine. Okay, uh, I get that. This is not the time to go shopping. All right, this is not the time to go to like you know the supermarket and touch things that other people are going to eat with your like bodily fluids all dried and nasty all over yourself, you know, go home first, take a shower. Now, all right, let's say you're driving home and you don't, you realize that like you're not going to have enough gas to get home, okay? Yeah, that's fine. You're, you're sweaty, you're nasty, but you can stop at the gas station and fill up your tank, right? But consider, consider not going into the gas station obviously okay you have a gym membership you're obviously in like the the top third of the top one percent of the people in the entire world uh you know you live a privileged life you if you have a gym membership you probably have a credit card or a debit card and all the gas pumps have those little slots in there where you can do that so you know fill up your tank Use your credit card, your debit card, and then, you know, don't go into the store and buy that power bar that you should have taken with you in your gym bag with your sweaty clothes. You know, don't subject the rest of us to your your smell because you decided that, you know, 
Okay, you didn't have the foresight. Anyway, just get home, all right? You can get home, you can get your car, and then you can take a shower, and then you can come back out with the rest of us in clean-smelling society, and, you know, you're clean, you know? And um, for those of you guys like Mr. Duck here who've got, like, severe body odor, okay? All right, you lost, you lost the genetic, like, like roll of the dice, okay? Like, you, you know... You rolled a nat one, okay, with like genetics as far as like your body odor goes. I get that. All right, there are people like that. That's terrible. That's a medical condition. See a professional. In the meantime, you may be required by this under the laws of the social contract to bathe more often, uh, use deodorant, use cologne if necessary. I mean, I know, I get it. Nobody likes to smell you know, human body odor mixed with too much polo for men, however, or Axe body spray, however, that beats the alternative, which is just human body odor, okay? That smell, you know, like teenage boys, that goat smell, you know, like we, we do, that is what you're trying to avoid, okay? You're trying to avoid that. And if you just happen to be one of those people that perspires in uh, large quantities, then you may have to take certain measures that other people might not just to uh, exist, coexist with your fellow human beings in polite society. All right, so this was a rant, obviously, and this was a joke, but uh, it's sort of not. So uh, sorry, not sorry, you know, like uh, this is a, this is a, a thing, and uh, it might be time to like, you know, Take, take, be aware of this, okay? Sometimes it, it just has to be said, okay? I got a co-worker who's got the, like, the genetic roll of the die here, you know, and he rolled an at one. So, like, he's he's out, man. Like, he's, it's a shame, but, like, you got to shower, man. You got to shower. I got another guy at work. He's a hunter. I get it. That's his fun. That's, but he smells like the animals that he's hunting, okay? He's got the deer scent or whatever that stuff is on his jacket, and, like, it smells like he rolled around in it, okay? Like he... Oh! Uh, okay, and another thing, if you're... I had to tell a customer this one time. I had to tell him that his cat had urinated on his coat or something, was using it as a litter box... He, he was, you know, it, it, he had it hung up on a booth, on a hook, that was between two booths, so he didn't smell it anymore, okay? And I get it, all right? People with pets, I get it, all right? But, you know, you, you get immune to that pet smell, that's fine. But even people who, other people that own pets, we can smell your pet smell on your coat, okay? Because it's not our pet. And we're aware that, like, cats do things to, like, mark their territory. And so do dogs. And, like, you know, so, you know, take the time to, like, you know, I, you know, fortunately, I could do it with a little bit of tact. And I could say, you know, I'm sorry, my friend, but I'm pretty sure that one of your pets got to your coat. And he was like, what? And I'm like, your coat smells like one of your pets, like specifically one of the things that comes out of one of your pets. So, you know, wash your coat, all right? Dry cleaning is not that expensive, all right? And if you're going to get a dry clean only kind of coat, well, you know, you knew signing up that it was going to cost you a little bit more, all right? Throw that thing in the wash, get that thing dry cleaned, and okay, it, it this, this crosses all like demographics of society too, okay? I'm not, you know, it's not... It's not like, oh, you're picking on, like, poor people who can't afford to soap. And, you know, soap's not that expensive, okay? You can buy three bars of ivory soap for, like, a buck, all right, at the at Dollar General. So, like, all right, but, but not only that, but, like, but rich people, okay, people that have a lot of clothing on, okay, like suits, okay? Like, people that wear suits and travel a lot, yeah, that stinks. You're on an airplane, okay, six hours. On the tarmac, up, down, it's hot, you're next to other people, you're sweating, you get to your destination, you're trying to do your business, and all people can smell is your body odor, okay? Great, you look sharp in your suit, but you reek, okay? We, su we can smell you coming, all right? It's, you know, all right, there has to be something in the expense account at work to, like, you know, 
uh, tell your boss, hey, you know what? I need a per diem. I need an allowance. I'm traveling. I'm trying to get these clients to like get on board with us, whatever we're trying to sell or whatever. But like, you know, I can't do it if I stink of like human sweat because I haven't been to my hotel yet. And they, you know, and most hotels provide laundry service and there's there's, you know, you have a smartphone now, you can look up like dry cleaners, like right there, you can take care of this stuff. You know, it's, it's not, you know, do it, take care of this. Okay. So it, it cuts across all levels of society. It's not just, you know, I'm not picking on anybody in particular. All right. So like, you know, be aware of this stuff guys, because like this is, this is society. Okay. I know Emily Post isn't popular anymore. Like the book's been on the shelf in the library collecting dust forever. Well, consider me your new Emily Post. I'm here to tell you what to do. And like I said, I hope I did this in a humorous fashion, but, um, but seriously, this is, this is real. And, uh, and this is going to affect your life and it's going to affect my life. It's going to affect everybody around you. And, uh, you'll get along a lot better if you have like a neutral, like odor pa palette, let's say. Okay. Not too much perfume, not too little, like, you know, not too much human odor, like just shower. Okay. So like, it's okay. You can still be frugal. You can still save a lot of money. You can wash your clothes and you can wash yourself. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So if you, if you have anything to say about this, put it in the comments below. Um, you know, I'd love to hear what your uh, ideas are in this, but, um, thanks a lot for listening and, uh, you know, have fun out there and, you know, and be nice. You know, if somebody's got the problem, you know, like Mr. Duck here, just, just be nice. You know, you don't have to go up and say foul smelling duck. You can go up, you know, funky duck. You can say like, uh, excuse me. Um, you may, you may find that you would get further in life if you attend to some, uh, personal hygiene issues, because at the moment it smells like you ran a marathon. And, uh, you know, most people will, will take that with a grain of salt. They'll probably be aghast, anybody with any kind of couth. But, um, you know, try it that way and, uh, and be nice and tactful about it. You don't have to, like, you know, call people out. But, well, well sometimes you do. But, anyway, so that's all I got to say for now. Uh, that's plenty. And, uh, anyway, have a good day. Take care.